Okay, I think I've got it. I was just about to all but give up and crack this thing again. But, um, so one thing I haven't um, been used to doing is shift clicking stuff. Boom! Kind of sucks that uh, it's not supported in the creative mod, but hey, there we go. All right. I've heard some rumor that books get kind of weird with this, but it looks to me like this actually works pretty well. So let's get this back and put it back in here. Bingo. All right. Holy crap. Now, book. Um, stuff that I want. You know what, actually? I want just my diamond pickaxe to be, um, efficiency. Yeah, I can't, uh, good. That's awesome. That's actually really sweet. Now, somewhere it should, ah, there we go. Enchanting cost. Player level 28. Okay. Silk touch. Ah, so I can't, uh-huh. Sweet. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to leave it for now because we're growing tons of sugar cane and it's getting there. And what I think I'm going to do, I think they have to be within two blocks of the enchantment table, right? So here's what's up. Um, I don't know if the glass bell is going to break when I try to remove it. I don't know if it drops itself. Yay, it does. Okay. And look at the aldeul. And we'll put our bookcases around here, and we'll get a piece of, like, sweet stone and carve it up and put it in the middle there. But for now, I'm going to wait for these guys to grow, and I'm going to contemplate how I'm going to get enough leather to get this all to work. Might have to go get some more wheat and breed some cows out in the wild or something. All right, well, we'll figure that out, and uh, we'll come back and get this guy leveled up so that we can uh, make a sweet, sweet diamond pickaxe and then work on uh, more adventuring later. All right, we're doing this the hard way. Well, crap. We're doing this the doubly hard way. We're going to get poisoned, and then we're going to try to herd these cows. All right, try and get that one, too. I don't really have a place to put him yet, but that's okay. Of course, I'm doing this at dusk again. You'd seriously think I'd learn by now. Of course, that cow's not paying any attention. Oh, come on. Do I have any food? They have raw food. Dang it. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna try to lead these cows through cover of darkness. Tempting danger every way I go. Oh crap. We're gonna lead all these cows into a pit. this. We can do this. Right, guys? We can do this without totally failing. First, convince cattle to follow you. One's looking. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Okay. Now, follow. How many did I get? Two? Three? I think I had four or five to begin with. If I can make it back with one, I'll actually be rather happy. Check for werewolves. I'm gonna get spooked by those cows every time I turn around, too. There's a couple. Follow me, cows. Oh, man. And that's... An archer. Come on. Come on. Don't die. Gonna die. Don't die. Blocked by cow. 
come on. One more. Just one more. Got him. All right. Cows and sheep are going to want to follow. It's fine. We're not actually, uh, we're not going to try to eat all of them. Just a few. I also had a uh, creeper totally spawn in my chicken coop earlier. I meant to get that on film, but things were kind of dangerous at the moment, so I just slaughtered him and then torched up the creep or the uh, chicken den a little better. Come on, cows. You can make it. Seriously. I know you guys can. Oh, this is why I need leads. This is why I need slime balls. Could not figure out a way to make them, by the way. What is... What is that? It does not look like a friendly giant cow. It looks like an evil dragon. And I have, like, two hearts. Um... Do have some food though. So I make sure that we're regenerating. Luckily we have some armor on. And we'll have to wait a second anyway, because cows are not paying attention. Oh, and a zombie. Zombie, I'm okay with. We'll beat him up with grape juice. No, we won't, because we're not holding the, uh, the wheat anyway. Alright. Come on, cows. Check me out. I got wheat. You want the wheat. We are 64 blocks away. There is a dragon somewhere over this hill, or some kind of crazy monster. There's a werewolf over there. We're down to one cow. Oh, my. There are multiple of them. I don't even know what they are. They don't look very cool. He can't fit in here, though. Haha! <laughs> what is he? A Zotar. Well, he needs to die. I don't know why guys are spawning. I've got a ton of torches around here. And this is an iron sword, and it's taken off like... Just little chunks of heart at a time. Hey, I might solve some of my leather problems. Come on, big nasty Zotar. Aha, my temple keeps me safe. Awesome. I am a fan of my temple, especially if it gives me big old batches of leather. Almost there. Alright. Leather and bones. Dude, I will fight all of these guys. Try to stuff your head in my temple? Cut your arms off. That's just how it works. Whew. Alright. Well, I may not have to sleep. Not that I can, because there's monsters too close, but, uh, I may not have to, in the event that these guys, uh, just want to wanna come chill, chill in my pad. And then we'll have our leather. Awesome. So happy. Oh, what a great way to bypass the night. Now that spinny thing over there, I don't know what it is. And I kind of think it's going to try to pick up my blocks and kill me with them. Whoa, yep, see, tried to pick up my blocks. Ooh, but got in a fight with a Zotar. Oh, he's a... Uh... He's becoming awfully big.
Hmm. We have full health. Let's go for it. All right. Ooh, he's got a lot of health. I don't think I'm dealing, like, any damage to him. Nope. Certainly not. Whoa. I swear, if he starts tearing up my house, I'm gonna be pissed. Whoa, nope, nope, nope. Not happening. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Giant ogre over there. It's, it's wonderful that so many monsters are spawning, regardless of the fact that I have torches up everywhere. That's really, really just great. Uh, well, how much leather did we get? Eight. Not bad. Uh, that's enough for two bookshelves. That'll get us started, right? Since we can't do anything else, might as well craft books. Five, six, three more. One, two, three. Actually, have enough for three bookshelves. All right. Don't mind the uh, screaming in the distance. Uh, whoops. I was supposed to actually take that, wasn't I? Okay. That, and we're going to use that just to get rid of it. Boom. Okay. Um, there we go. I have a couple of arrows, but, um, not nearly enough. Things are dying, but not all of the things. Alright. Just wanted to see. Not enough bookcases required. To, oh, 12 bookcases. I thought it was like a level. Required 14. I don't want slow fall on it. Okay, well, we've still got a ways to go. And where do we stand as far as giant? Yeah, mob monster guy. That's that's great. We're going to have to try and go get him again. Alright, now. He didn't like that. He's throwing his body parts at me. Now, ow, ow, ow. Definitely would do a lot better with a bow. It's fine. We're working our way there anyway. I'm just going to give up and get rid of these guys for now. I don't like the fact that he's, like, tearing up all my, my base blocks, though. Ow. Ow. Oh, come on. 
He's tracking me far too well. You can't see me. Hmm. Alright. Well, this is beginning to be rather unfortunate. I'm gonna have to get better ways of dealing with mobs. We've got a couple of bookcases here, so, yeah, that's fine. We get some mana beans trying to uh, lure those cattle in. Since we were in the enchanted forest a little bit, I figured I'd pick them up. I'm gonna have to make a bow, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. So, we'll try that again tomorrow.